What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another restock with me video. We are restocking my slime shop together and this is going to be a really cool one because I'm actually doing nothing but DIY clay slimes this restock. So it's going to be very interesting. You're going to see me make a lot of stuff out of clay and I am just really excited. So let's get on to making the slime. All right. So right now I have the glue, scent, lotion, all that good stuff in the big mixer here. I am making lemon cake pop. It is scented just like a Starbucks lemon cake pop. It's going to be really good. And I'm going to put like a little cake pop um, out of clay in, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm going to put a little cake pop out of clay in a two ounce container on the side. That way you all can mix it into the slime yourself. It's going to look really cute. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, the base is now nice and perfect. It smells really good. It makes you want to go get a cake pop, but no time. Okay, so next I'm going to add in some yellow foam beads. And even though this is a DIY clay slime, I still want there to be texture. So that is why I'm adding in the beads. This is about to get messy, y'all. Oh, it's actually not. And here is the lovely base. Super nice and glossy already and it literally was just made. Ignore these slimes by the way back here. They're for something else that I'm working on but yeah. It's good. <laughs> Alright so we have a bunch of yellow clay here. This actually is a blend of a couple different clays and it feels so good and smooth and it keeps its shape really well surprisingly. I'm actually going to use these for the cake pops and I'm going to make those now for the Starbucks lemon cake pop slime. It's going to be really cool. So this is basically what the little cake pop is going to look like. The only difference is I'm actually going to cover it in yellow glitter because the Starbucks cake pop is covered in yellow sugar. So I'm going to like cover it in glitter and then you're also going to get like a little cake pop stick. I bought actual sticks so that you all can actually like make a legit Instagram video if you wanted to. So that is pretty cool too. I'm really excited for this slime. It's going to be really cute. We have glue all here, school glue here. It's time to add in the lotion. I'm just going to add in about 40 to 50 pumps. Now it's time to scent this bad boy. So I'm going to go ahead and use Oreo cookie and cheesecake because it smells really good. I feel like this Oreo scent right here is legit better smelling than actual Oreos. And this cheesecake is like the best cheesecake because I have cheesecake from Nature's Garden as well. Uh, it's called homemade cheesecake. I'm looking at it right now at the scent wall. Um, but I feel like this one smells more accurate to actual cheesecake. So I'm using a mixture of these two and it's going to smell really good. Two shots of Oreo scent. I know that was way more than two shots, but somebody commented that I reminded them of the two shots meme, so that's why I went ahead and did that. Shout out to you, fam. All right, now I'm going to add in some of that cheesecake scent. I love the way this smells together. And here she is, the Oreo cheesecake base. Such a beauty. We stand. If you're not sure what my Oreo cheesecake slime looks like, it's actually a DIY clay slime like all the slimes this week. And it has a layer of black Daiso at the bottom and then it comes with an Oreo charm as well to put at the top. And then you get to mix it yourself. Just made this new slime right here. This is going to be called Cadbury Cream. I know it looks like a white base, but it's actually clear. It's going to become a little bit more translucent, but it is fully scented. It's really good, and it's going to have a clay yolk inside. That was weird saying that, yolk. <laughs> I like an egg yolk, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's going to look cool like a Cadbury cream egg. It smells like chocolate and sweet cream. It's really good. So excited. I only need a gallon, though. Easter's like legit this week. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I'm just adding in the little clay egg yolks for the Cadbury cream slime. It's going to be super cute. Look at that. So I just mixed up my Cadbury cream. See, and it looks so good. It feels so good. It's like a clear slay slime, obviously, because it's clear and there was clay in it. But it just feels so good. Like, I live and it smells like just like chocolate and sweet cream so like a Cadbury egg is just so good. I want to go out and get one. I'm living for this color. 
It's scented like dragon fruit, and the base is actually going to be a snow fizz. And then I'm gonna top it off with some clay that you get to mix in yourself. And then you're gonna have dragon fruit fluff. I'm using the crunchy plastic snow for this one because it's gonna be a snow fizz. This is all that I have right now though. The rest of it's gonna be delivered today. So I'm just gonna mix what I have in now and then the rest later. Just finished adding more snow into our snow fizz and it is nice and fizzy. Normally I would add a lot more snow However, since this is going to be a DIY clay slime and there's going to be a layer of clay on the top, I'm not going to like overwhelm the slime with too much of the fake plastic snow um, because I want it to be like a, you know, creamy with just a little bit of texture from the snow. Okay, so now I am just topping the layer of clay with some black glitter so that it looks like dragon fruit seeds. And then this baby is ready to be sealed up. All right, so this is how dragon fruit fluff is going to look. I just topped it off with the clay and a little bit of black glitters to represent the seeds that are in the dragon fruit. And I am so excited. I'm going to film this one right now because I literally cannot wait. Um, it's going to be epic because of the snow fizz that's at the bottom and the clay. Oh, I'm just so excited. Okay, so I am making a Twinkie DIY clay slime right now. It's actually going to be like a cloud cream. And then I'm going to put some white clay at the center to make it look like the filling. And it's going to look like a real Twinkie. I'm so excited. Okay, so now that my color is good, I'm going to add in all the instant snow. This is dried instant snow because I want this to be a cloud cream. So I'm going to mix that in now. Alright, the Twinkie Cloud Cream base is done and it is beautiful. Barely is going to fit in the container. I mean, look at it. <laughs> so fun. It's super dense and creamy. So I just finished labeling some of the slimes. So they have the name labels, the logo labels, and now they have our new warning labels on there and everything's from palm shop love except for these name ones we actually print these ourselves because they're super easy but don't these look super like professional i love these also i went ahead and i packed this slime i don't even think i showed y'all this one um this one is going to be called shopkins easter egg i believe is what we're going to call it uh you will know before i will i promise you anyways um yeah it's just a really pretty slime this is a thick and glossy slime and then it's going to come with an easter egg of clay inside of it and it's going to also come with a pack of markers that look like this here they're shopkins markers so it's going to come with a pack of this so you can decorate your easter egg and then you can go ahead and put it into your slime and mix it all up and it's going to look so gorgeous this is actually scented like candy it's really really good it's like jelly beans skittles a whole bunch of different candies like mixed together it's a really good actually let me show you how thick this baby is real quick she is super thick look at that super super thick so excited it smells so good oh my gosh all right so i just made another clay blend here this is a mix of three different clays and i am obsessed with the color this is going to be for blue birthday cake pop and you're going to see me make that tomorrow well, it's in the same video for you, but I'm making it tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to roll out the balls and then cover them in sprinkles and get them into their containers for the restock. I love it. It's like slime already. <laughs> okay, so now I'm individually rolling each little blue cake pop in these sprinkles. And they're so freaking cute. So adorable. All right, y'all. Let's make some blue birthday cake pop. So I already have a gallon of school glue in here and I'm emptying out this gallon of glue all so that it's a thicky. I'm going to add in the birthday cake scent. This smells so good. I always get a lot of comments on these videos saying that I put too much scent, but remember there's like two plus gallons in here so you really have to overcompensate with the scent. Okay, I want the slime to be a very like light blue so I'm just going to add a couple drops of blue food coloring. Probably no more than that to be honest. And got to add a bunch of lotion to this. Okay, now I'm going to add in some rainbow foam beads. All right, let's mix all that up. And we are done. I'm going to show you real quick. It's a thicky for sure. So 
So here is two gallons of Chanel number no. two, the queen, the thickest, the glossiest. Look at that, queen. <laughs> she is gonna come like regular, so you can technically keep her as she is, you know, just regular good old Chanel. But we are going to be including some clay balls um, in the shape of these little bubble gums. So it's going to be super cute. The clay matches exactly. So she's going to stay the same color. And it's just so adorable. So yeah. And this right here is Mud Mask. And I know what you're thinking. Why is Mud Mask brown? Well, it's just for the DIY version. DIY Mud Mask is actually going to be brown. But it's going to come with a layer of green clay on top. I actually only made a gallon. Like, this is all I have. So, snatch fast if you want the DIY clay version of this. Because I didn't have that much green clay like I thought I did. So, I can only do a gallon. I'm sorry. But, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be super cool anyways. I'm really excited. And once you mix the green clay into this brown base, it's going to look exactly like Mud Mask. So, that's going to be really exciting. And this is also a cloud cream, so once you add in that clay, it's going to make it a buttercream texture, which is the exact same texture as Mud Mask. So, literally, Mud Mask is going to be the only slime out of the big three that is going to stay original. Unless you don't mix Chanel, then she'll stay, like, her original texture and stuff. But, yeah. And here is the Baja Blast base. Whoa, my fingers look so crazy. So bubbly, I love it. I am so obsessed with Baja Blast, like before any of the snow gets added. I've always wanted to like sell it like this sometimes. I just said always and then sometimes, but literally sometimes I want to sell it like this. Because it's just so good. It's a gummy texture before you add like the instant snow to make it the icy cloud. It's really cool. But this time it's going to be Baja Blast cream and it's going to be topped off with some clay. You heard all right and this is how the Baja Blast cream looks it's so adorable and looks so tropical to me we went ahead and marbled a couple different colors like you know Baja Blast color the bluish kind of green then blue white and yellow as well and it looks so adorable when it mixes it should stay the same color maybe just a little bit lighter but yeah I just love them my mom also just finished uh, topping the Mud Mask DIY with the green clay and it looks so adorable. It almost looks like Minecraft to me, not gonna lie. Um, I know I'm gonna get those comments too, so yeah. Alrighty y'all, well that was pretty much it for this restock with me video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. That is pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you very freaking much and I will see you all next time. Bye!